Taurus, what is going on, baby? It is me, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Rides Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time, Taurus, my dears. To let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of April. Yes, 2020, show me the money season. Taurus, that is not going to ignore us, not in 2020, what is going on, baby? I hope you miss me because I sure as hell missed you, my dears. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much for clicking this video. Yo, everyone, all right? Sending a lot of love, light, and positivity and prosperity vibes to every single one of y'all who's clicked this video. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I want to give a big shout out to everyone who has sent love this way because y'all have been doing a lot of love and i appreciate it y'all we have a lot of new decks here and i went back to the old school um my old videos i used to literally read from like 6 m 8 9 10 11 decks all at one time you know what i'm saying that's why my videos be so long but it's okay i'm reloading i'm not going to be reading from all eight of these decks but on each side of me i got a lot of love and i got a lot of beautiful beautiful decks that you guys have sent to me and that i have made purchases from because of the love that you guys send through the cash app through the paypal and things that y'all sent through the amazon wish list so i want to say shout out to everyone because we are using today the uh, modern witch uh tarot deck you guys sent in the star sea oracle deck which is brand new i think this just like dropped like a maybe a a month or something ago and then we also have the circle of life tarot you know so a lot of oh and you guys have seen this one before but i'm also going to be using the archetypes um oracle deck as well so um a lot of new 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 love out here so i want to give a lot of shout outs a lot of big love best blessings to everyone who has supported the channel at any point in time throughout this 2020 show me the money season all right so taurus you know what we always do we want to give love and light to the creator we want to give thanks and give acknowledgement for where we presently stand because we cannot feel comfortable and really stand true and honor where we currently at we can't prepare ourselves for what we got in the future so we want to say thank you so father god thank you so much for abundantly blessing us with your love Thank you so much for all of the hope, joy, and prosperity that still lives in our heart, Father God. Regardless of any type of sicknesses and things that's going along in this earth, we know that we are well. And God said, peace be still, and we are listening. Um, so, even though this is a very tragic situation, um, I feel like the Lord is pressuring us to sit down and to focus on our family and our loved ones and the things that truly 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 matter like that's what's important right now what really really matters and we're being forced to recognize that and to protect that and uphold that and live in that environment and really really feel comfortable in everything that we have and be thankful for every single thing that we have because there are people that don't have the little bit that we do you know what i'm saying so we're just acknowledging where we presently stand we're thankful for everything that you've given us father god thank you so much for all the lessons and the blessings in the past present and future father god because we know that this too shall pass and there'll be many many more blessings because this is 2020 show me the money season father god and it's going to be so many more blessings for us in the days ahead father god thank you so much for the steps that you've laid before our feet because as soon as this quarantine is over and we get on the streets honey all right once all of this stuff is cleaned up okay and we get on the street Oh, we about to get to these coins. So, Father God, thank you so much for protecting us and guiding us. In the name of Jesus, amen. Give us guidance for the sign of Taurus. Mm -mm, they won't ignore us. This is our season, baby. You better know it. Let's get into sushi. Yes, ma'am. So, okay. We jumping into the tarot with you. All right, boo-boo. So, we going to do. So... They said, hold on, this is Shiva energy. Yes, bitch. Come on now. <laughs> yes. They said, this is Shiva energy right here. I said, yes, honey. The Knight of Pentacles. So it's been something that you guys have been working on that right now it's just come to a complete halt. So there's 
that I feel like someone got laid off. But at the same time, like, it's time for you to really sit down and be playing. Look, and then it's 111 right now. Yes, yeah, so like, yeah, this is about replanning and it's just like restructuring your environment and how to survive during a time where there's a little bit financial pressures, pressure, not just for you, but for the freaking world, you know what I'm saying? So there's a certain talent and a skill that you have, a gift in that you haven't like really looked at and really took the time to develop it. I feel like if you was to kind of really, really like focus um, ain't no damn horse breeding. Y'all do, do y'all do, do, do animal breeding? Is there someone that does animal breeding? If someone does animal breeding, get back to animal breeding. It doesn't necessarily have to do with horse, but it has to do with like thoroughbred something. It could be dogs, puppies, like something like that. Like, um, something that has to do with animals or something. Or you just need to get back into your animalistic nature. Like, what is it that you got a, a, a real passion for or something that you really have not put in the forefront? The three of swords and then the star. So, you guys are, okay. You guys are... It could be to deal with, like, I don't know if you guys have, like, a certain gift what kind of helping people pull those swords out of those, those little soft spots in their heart. It's like for the people that still got those soft spots in their heart for certain things that inevitably is just going to hurt them in the, in the end. It's like you have a certain talent and a gift to get people to realize that certain things are not worth your value. Like, to don't waste your time. It's time to... Pull these heart strings together to heal this heart and to see their path and their focus and to regain their faith and to show them that they're the star. You help them wash themselves clean and to be pure again and to like to have a certain faith in life to regenerate their self. And you show people. You can have a gift of showing people their gifts after they separate and get over a heartbreak. It's like, that could be your gift. And maybe you need to kind of think about doing some type of counseling to help people to regain their purpose. Yeah, the temperance in the reverse. And then what is this? Yeah. It has something to do with, like, the worst is over. Um, to regain their trust in, like, forces that are higher than their own. Um, and to really stop thinking about the path and try to, like, really, really, really have more spiritual practices to kind of help keep them balanced. It's the, it, it has something to do with that. Or maybe I'm telling you this to help you pull the swords out. Maybe this is what I need to tell you. But at the same time, they say no, safe practices. They say safe practices. So it's something about you continuing your safe practices to remember like your gifts, how beautiful you are when you're just purely, just naturally, just you, like you're gifted, you're talented, like you have a certain light that shines on you and it's time for you to kind of like pull those swords out of your heart, finally get over this third party energy, whatever this is that is interfering with your mind, that is keeping you distracted from your focus and your gift because even though it might be taking you a long time to rebalance yourself and you might have been having to sit down on doing this quarantine during this time to kind of help you really really get your mind refocused back together and to get you to replan and to use that heartache and all of that energy and stuff like that to like pay it forward like you can help somebody else you can help somebody else 
You know, like this is something. It's time for you to pay it forward, especially if you have already reached that star potential. You see other people laying down. You see other people that are not balanced. You see other people that have lost their faith, that have lost their hope, that don't know how to reach that ten of pentacles, that ten of cups within their self. So it's like, stop looking at the, the things from the past that are keeping you trapped in the worries and the fears of yesterdays. And let's focus on now and the future. That stuff is over. It's about you having that focus and that patience and that intention within yourself. And you know what I'm saying? And not focusing on, on other things. Yeah, it was like you were fortunate enough to see these people for their treachery and their works and you were allowed to get away regardless if they think that they might have got away and they you know whatever like it was a blessing for you you know what i'm saying and that's the things that you are going to have to relate to these people that are still stuck in their thoughts that is still nursing old wounds that are now not allowing their gifts and you know their fortune and their fame and everything to truly come to them because a lack of hope and a lack of faith because you're still looking at the pains and the woes of yesteryears, you know. It's about understanding that you were the gifted one. You were the fortunate one. You were the, you were the star, you know what I'm saying? So regardless if they got away, you got away, you will always be the star that got away. You will always be the one that got away. And you're more fortunate from that, you know what I'm saying? You're more fortunate for that. And if you turn this heartache, if you turn this time, this time that we've been having to sit down is to help us get our minds together because we have to sit in this skin alone. No one can make you stop thinking and, and get control. Like, it's your head. It's your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? So you have to get into it and get yourself realigned. Even if it takes a long time, it's worth the struggle. It's worth the fight. Like, keep going. You know what I'm saying? It might be about you needing to breathe a thoroughbred this time. That thoroughbred could be within your damn self. You know what I'm saying? Stop looking at that shit in the past and let's keep it moving forward. Because that shit is the hard part is over. You know what I'm saying? The hardest part for you to do right now is to know that that faith and all of that stuff that you were searching for, these answers that you were searching for, it lies within you. It lies within you. You were the fortunate one that got away. Do you understand what I'm saying? You. That was the gift that God gave to you. Because you were the star. You're a thoroughbred. You're a little different. The gnosis. So this is someone that has some type of fear. Some type of desire to move into the unknown. But you got the mask. Okay. You got the gnosis. You got the mask. So... It's about being scared about what's hitting on the other side and kind of wearing this mask and making yourself feel like you're ready. But you feel like it's a forced reality. Like maybe I did like no one wants a third. No one wants heartbreak. No one wants to be looking online and shit and finding out. The same shit over and over and over and over. It's like this person is just like overkill. Just keeps stabbing at me in my heart. Duh. We understand that. But. You should have more fear of laying there. And not getting up. And not having the faith. And not rebalancing yourself enough to go into the unknown. To see if there's happiness on the other side. You'll rather stay in the darkness. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like, you need to step into the unknown and have faith. That's why I'm saying that star right there. You have to have faith. It's about tempering yourself and pouring in that balance in within you. And then pouring that shit into your environment. Do you understand? Like, if you don't have faith that you can do that. You would stay stuck in the darkness and you will always be trapped in being scared to walking into the unknown and staying trapped in. I'm used to feeling this hurt and pain. I'll just rather stay here because this is what I know. And that is not what we doing. You know what I'm saying? That's not what we doing. You got to be smart enough to get away from shit that you know is hurting you and feeling that you're deserving to want better. You got the village right here. It's time for you to like really expand past this village that you know, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like 
you see this person is putting the crown down. You see this mountain. The mountain in Lenormand represents struggles. It represents trials, tribulations, like having to endure something, endurance, you understand, like endure problems, mountains and things, this is something in this village where it was too much to endure and maybe you are putting this mask on and trying to one, one way seem like you happy but for real, for real, you're sad and there's still a lot of darkness, there's still a lot of pain and you do want to step into the gnosis but there's some level of scarce, you know, pilgrim. It is time for you to go on your own pilgrimage and venture outside of this village and step it up and the unknown, the, the pilgrim, and then the unseen. It's not meant for you to see everything. It's not meant for you to know everything, but it's meant for you to have faith and trust in God and know that it's better than this here. It's better than this. You know, it's better than this here. Step into the unknown. And to, you know, into the unseen and just kind of know that the things that are hidden from you might be the best kept secret. It's about you trusting in yourself, you tempering yourself and you having enough courage and enough integrity, and enough smart, and enough wits to get the fuck away when you know that these people around you don't mean you no good. And they just around to hurt you and they just around to lie, cheat, like scheme and steal and just like no you understand like I'm not about to keep being the victim of waiting for someone to show me something different this is overkill but these people can only continue to do this type of thing to me if I allow it you understand what I'm saying pull these swords out and it's time to have the faith to be the star to step into something anew. If everything that you've been doing and everything that you've been putting in your energy in has not been working have the courage to Delete all that, delete all that shit, Pinky. Delete all that shit. Delete all that shit, girl. Delete all that shit. Delete it. Okay? Delete it and realize this shit ain't working. One, two, three times is a charm. Uh-uh, baby. Mm-mm. It's time to heal from because that's old-fashioned thinking. That's old, outdated technology as well. And it's like... You not you not hip. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you need to re-educate yourself. You need to get re-hip. You know what I'm saying? Put that time, put that investment in yourself and temper yourself. And realize that whatever the fuck this is, it's, it's overkill. It's not working. It's time for you to be the star. And again, you might have a gift. And seeing people, because I feel like you've been in that tennis ward situation before. And you might have gone through this sacred journey to help yourself get over this heartbreak and temper yourself and be smart enough to get away. And this is your gift and your passion to help people where you started at. And help them to see that their star potential to be where they are. And again, it's time for you to pour these gifts back into your environment. Yes. The strength. It's time for strength. It's time for strength and it's time for courage. It's time for you to be a leader. It's time for leadership. And this is the night of... This is the night of cups. You see how um, the little fairy is on the turtles back it's been taking this person a long time to get like you've been moving at a turtles at a snail's pace but it's like nature and like little fairies and your little fairy godmother and stuff has been watering your back has been taking care of you while you're on your journey because it's like you're coming to spread love you know what i'm saying you're coming to fight you're coming to you know honor yourself and to honor others it's just like you just needed someone to like water your back on the way it's like you you kind of need someone to kind of nurture and take care of you and teach you and remind you of how strong you are you know just in case you did get in this point where you're not temperate you're not spiritually balanced to remember to flip that card around you know that the worst part is over and let's keep going let's keep going let's go here let's go here Give my Taurus guidance. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. 
earth school earth school so like it's like you're just going through the school of the hard knocks because at the end of the day there's certain people that can learn by reading a book there's certain people that can learn by watching somebody make mistakes and they can know enough not to do it then there's certain people that have to physically go through certain experiences in order for them to grow but it's like once they experience it one time baby i, I got it you ain't got it you know <laughs> you know what i'm saying you know, so um, it even it might have took a long time. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say that this is something that was just easily learned because clearly with this tennis sports, this is something that it was several repeats of the same information for you to finally get it. But it's like once you got it, you got it good. You know what I'm saying? Like, has anyone said to you, are you you done? You done, done, done? You really done this time? Okay. Like, it takes people to really get to a point in their life where they're done. It doesn't matter what no one else says to them. It doesn't matter what anyone else does to try to prove to them. They have to go through this earth school. Do you understand? Life lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning. Exactly. And I didn't even read the card, but I already know. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because it is about, like I said, re-educating yourself. Like, outdated thinking. You know what I'm saying? It might have took slow... Might have took a long time for you to actually learn, but still it's like spirit is still watering your back and it's still helping you along the way no matter. And it's like you have to, even if it's you, you're taking that slow approach, but you're still moving into the unseen. Because it's like God has something better for you. Yeah, it's way better. It's way better. But you have to have the strength. You have to have the fight. You have to have the courage. Like, even when you're feeling weak, even when you're doubting yourself, you got to still know that I'm not on this journey for no reason. You know what I'm saying? God got me. I just got to have the courage to fight. I got to have the courage to fight. Look, a new earth is happening. Keep holding the vision. The earth school, that's why you went through that. Keep holding the vision. Keep moving. Listen, I remember, and it's like, I don't even think that's why this is in the reverse. It's like, I don't even think that you remember a time where what you are walking into is going to be something that you never experienced in this lifetime. Nothing in the past lifetime, if y'all believe in that past lifetime stuff and all that. This is something like completely new, something that is completely grounded and founded for you and your state of existence right now. You know what I'm saying? This is something that you're not going to remember. That you've never seen before. You know what I'm saying? But it's something that you have been patiently waiting. And that you've been praying for. And something more beautiful. And it's so worth the journey. You have to continue to keep yourself balanced. And you have to temper yourself. And you have to be patient. And stop looking at the things that you don't want anymore. And start moving towards the unseen and think about and start praying and start visualizing about how beautiful it is and what you want it to be and what you want it to look like you understand it's not anything that you can ever remember because these things that you were remembering from the past are things that were lessons you were better than these tears you were better than these rainy days and these dark clouds than this lack of sunshine then all of the stuff in your childhood, everything, you know what I'm saying? All of this stuff that you're walking into is, is, is something that it's new creations, it's new visions, it's new happiness, it's new harmony. Listen, and then, <laughs> then my Ryan Knights don't just fell out. Baby, this is like you being brought to a, a certain state of love that maybe at birth, like when you were birthed into this world, like you're taking your first breath into this new state of existence you are being reconnected with a certain uh amount and in state of love that is like a new birth it's not it's not something that you've ever seen before soul plan the fate life versus the definite uh the destiny life soul plan the fate life versus the destiny life Mm-hmm. They said that you're, you're, you're like circle in a pool of visions. That's what that means. It's like you can only... And when you get to this place of harmonious, like, existence, it'll feel like 
deja vu because you've dripped it up. You've manifested it. You've breathed that air before, like maybe in a 5D or something like that. But it's something that you've been creating and something that you've been manifesting. And it's not something that you've ever experienced. But when you feel it, you're going to remember it. It says the great serving and then the seven star sisters. So... The great serving is in the reverse. And then the seven star sisters. So the reason why this great serving is in. It says you got the love. And these were the other two cards. And then it says em empathic star. See so these were the other two cards that fell down over there. But I was going to put back. But they told me to look at it. So real quick. So I feel like the great serving right now has been put on pause. Like I said, you could be laid off. There could be lack of employment and all of this stuff. It's because it's about this cosmic connection with your soul sisters, with your soul tribe, with the people that believe in this type of evolution. Do you understand what I'm saying? Things have been put on pause to start to regain and get a grip and hold of yourself, you know, and it takes other soul leaders to, I guess, talk to other people who understand the soul's evolution journey to help them get them together, to help them be able to thrive even when there's nothing. Do you understand what I'm saying? The people that have been going through this journey have been humble in search a way that regardless of what's going on in the world, we are still good we're still living in a pace of peace and just balance and harmony like I don't feel like we're in a place where we feel like there's a lack of this great serving maybe the world is in this lack of great serving but with this seven star sisters here we keep each other balanced and we keep ourselves grounded and we keep ourselves nurtured spiritually so that even if there is a lack there's just might be a knock at our door with someone just dropping off uh, groceries just giving donations and stuff and being you know doing humanitarian stuff around the community and they might just come and bring you that blessing because of your alignment with the universe do you understand understand what I'm saying it's about this great serving right now is not affecting us because this soul sister this tribe this universe this universal connection right now we water each other we protect each other we like I said spirit is pouring that water on this you know turtle's back and even the turtle knows how to protect that self because the turtle knows how to go within and have trust and faith and belief in the shell. See, that's the thing. That's why this turtle is here for y'all to recognize that because it's like with this temperance in the reverse and, you know, it's like you have your own protection that you need to gather and believe in as well. You understand what I'm saying? Like you have to learn to trust and believe in your own and who you are and know that God is still watering your back and these seven star sisters, these people that are being brought to you, you know what I'm saying, especially during this great serving that is not being provided right now universally, this says Mars energy, you know what I'm saying, this is anger, conflict, softening to love, that's not what we're experiencing right now, we're not allowing Mars to interrupt our flow right now, do you understand what I'm saying, that part, it says Empathetic star seed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what is not yours. But you see, that was in the reverse. I had to turn that around. So there's a certain state of existence, and you understanding that you are that star seed, but you're not taking on energy that is not your own. You got the love and that harmony, and that stuff is within you. You understand what I'm saying? You, again, like I said, have a certain gift. Where you can be helping people. You need to spread the word. And I don't think that. Maybe you might have had enough. Thought of your own self. And your own existence. That's why this temperance is, is, is there. In the reverse. I don't think that you really seen it for yourself. But that gift is there. And you guys really do need to think about. Investing in yourself. And enriching yourself a little bit more. And if you are still experiencing any heart. If, you, if this is you with this three of swords here. Completely pull them out. And get over it. So it's never on this table anymore. Unless. Okay. Alright. Blow that candle out. Blow that flame out. It's done. You are 
being led to teach and have strength. To teach people how to balance themselves and to walk into the unknown. And know that God got you and God is protecting you the whole way. And everyone that is being connected to you is within alignment. Earth school. The school of the hard knocks. Like, I'm serious. Listen, you got the love. It says... Hedarian energy, codependency, balance. Yeah, it's about having these boundaries, about not taking in these type of energies. It's like you have the love and you have to know how to have certain boundaries with that. Like it says, the strength, not taking on energies and stuff that is not your own. You know what I'm saying? Don't allow people to attach themselves to you. Putting safe boundaries around yourself, the strength, you know? All of this shit is definitely connecting. I'm completely feeling this. Let's wrap this reading up. Let's get some guidance and love real quick. And that switch over now. Look, earth energy. And look at you sitting up there kissing the tree. It's like truly understand that everything that God has been gifting and been doing for you. It says give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. I told you. Ooh, shit. I'm flinging shit all over the place. It's too, and then it says playfulness. It says give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Like I said, give thanks to where you currently said. And if you are part of this soul tribe, and even this message, I feel like that is it's, it's helping re-educate and it's helping rebuild you and stuff like that. And understanding like your life purpose and why. God is pushing you to continue to move towards the unseen, you know, because everything God is not going to tell you every single thing. You know what I'm saying? Because it's meant for you to go through this earth school and live. You understand? He's not going to tell you every single thing. But just know that everything that God has put on this path for you that you're deserving of, you got to keep walking and continue to go through this earth school and allow the teachings and the love of the people that are coming in your path and know that the things that are that Mars is coming through and fucking up other people and causing this chaos it's not affecting you in the same way the only thing that is affecting you is you regaining this balance with you within yourself it says playfulness laughter is the best therapy have some fun together and remember that love is the greatest healer you know so the people that you're with your family your loved ones whoever you are with right now even if it's your own self even if it's your children, it don't matter. Call, make connections with people that make you laugh, people that make you feel loved, people that make you feel balanced, people that you are reminded every day, thank God I got away because I get a chance to be with people that I really fucking love and that really love me. You understand? Like, thank God I got away. I'm glad that they seen me get away. You know what I'm saying? So I could really have this connection and love and laughter with people that really, really matter to me. You know what I'm saying? And that want to see my happiness, that want to see my growth. Like, that's the thing that I feel is very, very important to you. Okay, let's, let's get that in there, man. All right, and then we're going to wrap this up. I don't want this to be too long. The Norman, give me closing guidance. Ooh. The child and then the mountain. So, I feel like there might be some obstacles going on in regards to some type of relationship with a child. Um, I feel like the reason why all of this stuff has been going on with this, be, us being quarantined, is like for us to keep our focus on our children. On our, ch on our child's growth because there might have been a lot of conflict and a lot of chaos around our children that we didn't necessarily mean to have around them. Like, they might have had to see you go through these challenges and have to fight. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, pay attention into what's going on with your children and make sure that they're blossoming right and making sure that just emotionally that they didn't suffer from any challenges from having to watch you struggle and fight in this type of way. And I think you guys know what I'm talking about, you know. So I feel like right now, this time is for you to really, temp really temper and get yourself together. Because it's like your children are watching whatever type of challenges and what type of obstacles and whatever blockages that are being in front of you. So it's like... 
it's time for you to rebirth yourself with this child energy as well. You know, it's time for you to be curious. It's time for you to really be daring enough, you know, because children have a certain level of bravado and like recklessness with them where they'll go and jump into the fire. Boom. There you go. So if you didn't have any children and if that other part with you going through a struggle, y'all know what I mean. Y'all know who I'm talking to. So if your children had to watch you fight, this, this quarantine is for you to spend more time with your children and, and build. So because I want them to see you get over these obstacles and you remove these blockages and step into the unknown and it's like it's something about it's something about you being around your child and their innocence and just how like you laugh at your child because it's like they don't give a fuck they're not scared of shit and it's just like man if i can just like have that energy and i feel like you're about to possess that energy you know what i'm saying and jump into the unknown and, I, and it might be you're going to do it for your child listen the anchor like yes i'm i want to have security i want to be stable and especially like where you're at right now it's like i feel in so much control right now that i was able to remove myself and they just said from incarceration okay so it's like I want to solidify. I want to, you know, make this firm. You know, I feel like this is like an emotional travel where it's like you feel safe, you feel secure. Now, what is this to bear exactly? You feel like you're able to operate with a level of uh, the the bear is like a CEO, a CEO like a boss. You know like an apex predator like a leader it's like you're very seasoned do you understand yo oh, come on look at that money hand i didn't even realize i was doing that but you're very seasoned you understand so it's like once you get into that boss energy like i said get into that entrepreneur Whatever this talent is, whatever this gift is that you didn't use and that you have never thought about using before. If you just focus your energy on your gifts and try to, even if you got to invest just a little bit of coins, then, you know, it might prolong it, but it will make you better at your crap and it'll make you, it'll make you like really really firm and it'll solidify you in whatever field or career this is that you're going to go like you're going to go very very far you're going to be like the cfo the ceo like whatever but you're going to be very strong you're going to be a heavyweight in whatever field this is yeah the fish like i told you financial prosperity wealth like good health and everything like that like hell fucking yeah what is this the grave yeah so it's like uh, what now honestly you are being pushed into the unknown to get yourself balanced to stop looking at all that old bullshit and to get over this all, because you got other shit to focus and worry about right now your children is meant to see you rebalance and repurpose yourself you understand to truly step into the unknown and step out and be a boss and be a leader and to stand firm in that shit your child is going to watch you do that shit and to really put to rest and ashes to ashes and just like really Get over anything that's paining you, anything that was like causing blockages that was ridding you from your success and your foundations for the future. Like you're walking away from any of that shit and you're walking into blessings, big blessings. You know what I'm saying? Where you're making money while you sleep, blessings. You know what I'm saying? The unknown. Like I had I yet known this shit was going to be like this. And again, this playfulness is, is with your children. Like re- balance yourself like rebalance yourself stop focusing on these struggles and stuff like that and it's time to really walk into the unknown because you're going to be very successful and financially blessed and not only that you're going to have a soul tribe where when all chaos and ruckus and foolishness is going on in the world it ain't going to affect you at all it's not going to affect you at all you know so anyway, I want y'all to hit that like button if this resonates with y'all because I like this energy right here. I definitely like it. I'm loving it. And I hope y'all see y'all way all the way to the money, okay? 2020, show me the money. Energy, sip, see. Yes, ma'am. Hmm.
Yes, bitch. And like I told y'all, I keep this cup because it's seasoned. <laughs> I done cooked so many bomb ass batches of coffee in here. I do the same recipe and I do the other cups, but it don't taste the same because this motherfucker is seasoned. Do you understand? Baby, you're seasoned. You understand? These motherfuckers is, when it comes to this money, when it comes to this money, whoever was before you, they got to go. Because at the end of the day, they see success. They see nine of pentacles with you. You're the one. You're the one, Daniel, son. You're the one that's going to bring them prosperity and money. You're the king of coins. You're the king of diamonds. Do you understand what I'm saying, baby? They're going to motherfucking let anybody know that came before them. You got to go. Because this is the one, Daniel, son. This is the one. This is the one in the season. This is the one I can tell that they don't went through some life experiences where I know that they're grounded and they know what they talk about. Listen, they don't went through some life experiences with this nine of goddamn spades. Okay? So when they come through, they coming through for real because they ain't taking no shorts no more. They done been through some shit. Okay? Seasons. Like Laurie's. Bitch, I got to go. Y'all hit that like button. If y'all want to book a read with me, Click that about tab. Make sure that you send me a message on Instagram. If you don't have an Instagram, use my email, which is scorpionrants at gmail.com, baby. All right. And send me a message on Google Hangouts, which is the easy app to download. And we can chat there. I love you guys. Peace, love, and soul. Sorry, let me shut up. Bye.